So this question says, to increase the mean of four numbers by two, how much would the sum of the four numbers have to increase? Well, what do I know about the mean? I know that in order to find the mean of four numbers, I would add those four numbers together. I would then divide those four, that the sum of those four numbers by four, and I would get an answer that is the mean. So you can see that in this question, there's a lot that I don't know. I don't know what the mean is, and I don't know what any of the numbers are. I don't know what the sum of those numbers are. So I don't like not knowing so many things. So what I'm going to use is a little strategy called plug in your own number. In this case, plug in your own numbers. And I'm going to make up some numbers to put in these blanks. So I'm going to use uh, one, two, three, and four, and let's see if I get a nice mean out of that. If I don't, I can uh, I can always change it. So what I get from this is a sum of, uh, what's that, one plus two is three, plus three is six, plus four is 10. 10 divided by four is a decimal. I don't really want a decimal. Um, so what if I, instead of having this four here, what would I need? What would be a good number to place here so that I don't have a decimal? So I have one plus two is three, plus three is six, um, the closest number that four goes into is eight, but I don't want to repeat a number, although I, I could, but I don't want to. Um, goes into 12, so how about I just make this a six? So by making this a six here, that makes the sum in my numerator 12. So I have 12 divided by four, which is equal to three. So now I know that my mean is three. So the question says that I want to do something to this numerator. So 12 plus x, right? I don't know how much I'm going to increase that 12 by. I'm still going to divide by 4 because I'm just increasing the value. I'm not actually adding a brand new number, right? So I'm just increasing the value or the sum of the numerator. So still divided by 4. But this time I want my mean to be 2 um, larger than before, which means instead of a three, I'm gonna get a five. So as you can see, I just translated that understanding into this equation. And now it's just, you know, I just have to solve for x. So if I multiply both sides here by four, my fours cross out, I'm left with 12 plus x equals 20. And then I could solve for x by subtracting 12 from both sides, and I'm left with x is equal to 8. And then I look at my answer choices, and I see that 8 is choice J.